Okay, so here is um, the cycle eQuest. So you're given that h of x equals r of w of x, and we want to use the table below to evaluate h prime of 4, and we need to show careful work. So you've got to, so you ask yourself, what rule could I use to evaluate this? And the answer is chain rule. So there's going to be an inside function and an outside function. And in this case, the inside function is w of x, and the outside function is r of blank. So the derivative of the inside function is w prime of x, and then r prime, and then you plug w of x back in. Okay, so this is what h prime of x is. And then you they're asking for h prime of 4. So h prime of 4 is equal to w prime of 4, times r prime of w of 4. So w prime of 4, so here's where w prime is. w prime of 4 is 1. And then r prime of w of 4 is negative 2. So this is 1 times r prime of negative 2 is 28. So the answer is 28. Okay, now this next one, you want to find the derivative of the given function. You don't have to simplify your answers. Um, how does this one go? I think secant. All right, so I think, so you would just carry down, so y prime, you'd carry down the 8, and then the derivative of inverse secant is 1 over absolute value of x, radical x squared minus 1. I believe that's it. I believe it's not 1 minus x squared, okay? But you could look at your notes. They're on, this is, the AP test, excuse me, is going to be open notes. And I, I sent you um, flashcards that you could use. All right, so that, that's it. Okay, now um, this next one, if this was just 3 to the x, then you could use the formula that is in your flashcards for the derivative of any a to the x. But this is 3 to the 5x, so you've got to use chain rule. So the inside function is 5x, the outside function is 3 to the blank. So the derivative of that is that. The derivative of this is forget how we did it. If we put, all right, I think, I think it, so it's going to be natural log of the base times 3 to the blank. All right, and then what goes back in is the 5x. All right, so y prime is 5 natural log of 3 times 3 to the 5x. And in the formulas I gave you, the natural log of the base might come after um, like at the end, but it doesn't matter because it's just multiplication, which is commutative. Okay, now this is the derivative of uh, 7 inverse sine of 2x. We again are going to need the chain rule. I apologize for the blurriness. I'm having a lot of trouble with, um, with my document camera. Okay, so the derivative of the inside is 2, and then the derivative of this outside, so times, I just carry down that 7. The derivative of inverse sine is 1 over radical, oh, oh, whoopsie, 1 minus blank squared, blank squared. Okay, so this blank is that blank. But what goes back in the blank what the, the old inside, so that's 2x. So this ends up being 14 over that. Okay, so that's the beginning. All right, so there was a lot of trig on this one. All right, so uh, cosecant of 3x. Cosecant of 3x, so in, out, 3x, cosecant of blank, 
3. The derivative of this is negative cosecant blank, cotangent blank, and the 3x goes back in. So y prime is negative 3 cosecant 3x cotangent 3x. Alrighty. Now this next one. Um, so 4 inverse tangent of 3x. 3x, 4, so 3, 4, is it x squared plus 1, or 1 plus x squared? I don't think it matters, but I think it's usually, no, no, it definitely doesn't matter, but I think they usually write the 1 first. y prime is... Now for this next one, I need quotient rule. Okay, so y prime. I'll set it up with brackets, but you don't need to. All over squared. So secret. Okay, so y prime equals, all right, so secant x tangent x is the derivative of secant. It's in your flashcards. So the secant of x just comes down, and then this is 9x squared all over. Oh, this camera's driving me crazy. Okay. Alrighty. For this one, we need the product rule. So I will set this up with brackets. Bracket prime, bracket plus. Three minus x squared. Inverse cosine. Inverse cosine. So y prime equals. So the derivative of this is negative 2x. And then I just bring down inverse cosine. And then I just bring this down. And the derivative of inverse cosine is negative 1 over radical 1 minus x squared. It's the same as inverse sine, but, but it's negative. And that is in your flashcards. Okay. And now this last one, uh, quotient rule. All right, I'm going to do it without the brackets this time. Um, I'm going to do it without the brackets. And here, let me try to adjust the resolution. I hope. All right, if I end up messing up the video, guys, by trying to do something right now, never mind, I can't because the video's running. Okay, so um, I got to do the derivative of this top one, e to the x to the fifth. But in order to do that, I need chain rule. So this is 5x to the fourth, e to the blank, x to the fifth goes back in the blank. So this is the derivative of the top. All right. So to use quotient rule, I go the derivative of the top times the bottom. Okay. Minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. All right, so there it is. So I did it without 
using the bracket setup like I had done for number seven. Okay, but by all means, use the bracket setup, guys, if you if you like it. I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can because of the camera. Alrighty, and then there's this one. Uh, this is product rule. All right, it's product rule, and I see that I'm going to have to take the derivative of the square root of natural log. Okay, that is going to be a chain rule situation. So in out. So natural log of x is inside of blank to the one half for this part. So the derivative of natural log is one over x. The derivative of blank to the one half is a half blank to the negative one half. And then natural log of x goes back in. Okay, so I've, I've got that derivative part. Now for the rest, I just need the, um, the product rule. So y prime equals product rule. The derivative of this first function is 5x to the fourth. And then you just bring down the second function plus bring down the first function times the derivative of the second function, which in this case is 1 over 2x natural log of x to the negative 1 half. Okay. Now, this one here. Um, if you see a trig function to a power, you should translate it to this. Okay, so that's what that actually means. So, guys, this is like a double chain rule situation because you've got, so the outermost function is blank to the third. That's the outermost function. And then inside of that is tangent, but then inside of tangent is 5x to the second. So you've actually got two insides and an outside. So you've got 5x squared tangent blank blank to the third. Okay, the derivative of this one is 10x. The derivative of this one is secant squared of x. And then the derivative of this is three blank to the second. And then what goes back in here, oh, no, 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 no. What goes back in here is five x squared. All right, the old inside goes back in. What goes back in here is tangent of 5x squared. That's what goes back in there. So y prime is 10x secant squared of 5x squared. Oh shoot, you could have gathered this. So maybe I'll, I'll just make that 30 to make it look nicer. So 30x secant squared 5x squared tangent 5x squared to the second. Okay, so that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.